Hey, thanks, Melinda. Well, it's been another summery day as far as the weather is concerned across the two Virginias. And if you like today's weather, you should like it again tomorrow. It's been several days now. We've seen temperatures this high. We've been in the upper 70s, if not at least the low to mid 80s. Pineville today at 86 degrees, still closer to 90. Some of those lower elevations west of I-77. Mercer County Airport official high coming in now at 80 degrees. Beckley hit 81. And you can see this is not much change from yesterday. These numbers represent the amount or the number of degrees we've changed from this point yesterday to this exact point today. And there hasn't been any change in some spots. Right now we're at the same temperature we were yesterday in Lewisburg, in Bluefield. Only a one or two degree difference in a lot of places. So this pattern has hung with us for a while and it looks to stay for a little bit longer, at least the next few days. And then things are going to start to get a little bit more unsettled, especially later in the week. Now we already are a bit more unsettled than we were, not quite as dry. We still could see a stray shower, maybe even a rumble of thunder before the day is over. Looks like we've got some activity trying to roll into very, very far portion, north portion rather, of Pocahontas County. Still some pop-up showers and clouds scooting across the area elsewhere, but it's not going to be a washout. Most of us won't see rain. We'll just see clouds moving in as we've seen all afternoon, but we still could see again a stray shower storm. We're still very warm. We've got enough energy, especially when this moisture rides up those mountains and it cools a bit and condenses. So we're in the 70s and 80s now. Not going to be a very cold night either. Now once the sun goes down, I think we're not going to see much more rain. We're not going to see hardly any rain at all overnight. Besides again, those few stray showers before sunset. Our next chance of rain is going to come later, our wider spread chance of rain. We're still going to see some pop up showers and storms tomorrow and I think on Wednesday. But this cold front here, that's the next major weather maker. That slides in, I'm thinking, at the end of the week, maybe Friday into Saturday. I'll show you that here in just a second on our longer range models. But tonight, here's what we're looking at. Just some clouds, again, a stray shower or two. We're in the 50s and 60s tonight. We'll call it partly cloudy. And then tomorrow, we're going to be a lot like today, 70s, 80s, but a bit more shower and storm coverage during the afternoon, a better chance to see them tomorrow. So have that umbrella with you. Still not really expecting anything severe, but we could have some heavier downpours, some thunder, some lightning. So again, maybe download that WVBA weather app while you can and make sure you track the storms tomorrow. Wednesday looking about the same too. It's later in the week that we get that wider spread coverage. We could see a little bit of that Wednesday, but mainly Friday into Saturday for the first part of Memorial Day weekend. We could be a little cooler and a bit wet. That's a stronger system. So if you've been wondering when temperatures are going to cool back down closer to average, it'll be then. Again, temperatures tonight, 60s. Tomorrow, again, closer to 80 or so. And we will see some showers and thunderstorms again back in the forecast. But the better chance of rain Friday early Saturday. Look how cool we are to begin Memorial Day weekend. But we come back up into the mm -hmm. 70s pretty quickly by Memorial Day. It's not looking like a washout. I see so the we've temperature. Still got that. I was going to say, I see your temperatures, but the picture behind the seven day, Catherine, I'm always telling you, I love your photos. <laughs> Which one the... is that one? Oh, <laughs> that's actually that from, from my cousin's house. Really? In Elkton, Virginia.